chapter 4 of gist of kurukshetra november 2022 technology empowering the masses to give you a background in recent years there has been a significant increase in the investments in the field of science and technology due to the efforts of the government india is currently ranked 40th in the global innovation index 2022 as compared to the 81st rank in 2015 at the recently concluded science and technology ministers conclave the prime minister of india has called for taking research in science and technology to the local level according to the prime minister the need of the hour is that every state should focus on innovation to create local solutions according to their local problem the role played by technology in empowering the masses for a developing country like india science and technology play a huge role in bettering the lives of its citizens in india science and technology have a huge potential to revolutionize agriculture financial inclusion education roads and transport healthcare and housing sectors technological interventions not only help in boosting the productivity better service levels and efficiency but also ensure to help the benefits of modern science reach the bottom of the pyramid ensuring the ease of living and access to various government schemes technology has been proverbial catalyst in turning the tide in favor of citizens and their ability to access the government schemes for example the rapid adoption of digital technology in the last few years has laid the framework for making the delivery of government schemes easier and more efficient key developments spearheaded by technological advancements india stack and aadhaar the foundation of India's digital revolution was laid by the development of India Stack, which is a unified software platform that brought over 140 crore plus population of India's digital age into its form. The adoption of India Stack has helped to promote financial inclusion and also social inclusion the bedrock of india stack is a set of digital identity products centered around aadhaar and aadhaar has also been the foundation of multiple building blocks direct benefit transfer aadhaar identification program has ensured the success of the direct benefit transfer system which was initiated by the government in 2013. The main aim of the program was the transfer of subsidies and cash benefits directly to citizens through their Aadhaar seeded bank accounts which reduces leakages and associated delays. DBT has become the most accepted way of delivering development schemes. It has emerged as high priority focus area of the government in reforming the government delivery system in a variety of welfare schemes for a simpler and faster flow of information or funds. DBT has become the most accepted way of delivering development schemes with the delivery of over 450 schemes such as 
the public distribution system pds pm kishan mg nregs prime ministers matru vandana yojana or pmmvi national rural livelihood mission or nrlm national health mission etc digital platforms for e governance the national informatics centers that is nic under the ministry of information technology is playing a huge role in executing the key it projects in collaboration with central and state governments ensuring the last mile delivery of the government services to citizens through a variety of digital solutions nic as the technology partner of the government of india aims to cater the ict needs at all levels of governance and several government initiatives like swachh bharat mission my gov e hospital fertilizer distribution e codes e transport etc have been completely managed using digital platforms which are developed by nic nic has also developed various digital platforms for the socio economic development of the country in line with the vision of one nation one platform unified payments interface or upi the upi developed by the national payments corporation of india npci has emerged as a game changer in the payments space rolled out in 2017 upi accounts above for about 16% of total retail payments with over 30 million upi qr codes registered by the merchants since the launch of upi india has been improving financial inclusion at a cagr of more than 5% since 2018 the country has more than doubled the extent of digitization of payments with upi other digital payment options such as bharat bill payment system bbps bhim aadhar aadhar enabled payment system that is aeps and 99 ash services have also been developed smart cities mission one of the most visible examples of the impact of technology in changing the lives of our people is the evolution of our smart cities launched in 2015 the smart cities mission that is scm identified 100 cities across the country for higher economic growth and better quality of life for people by enabling local area development and harnessing the technology application of smart solutions enables these cities to use technology to improve solid waste management efficient urban mobility improved city infrastructure and health facilities for the citizens integrated command and control center or iccc ICCC are set to be the nerve center in each smart city. ICCCs monitor all the activities taking place in the city from the technology enabled and responsive central location and are designed to aggregate the information across multiple applications with the help of sensors deployed. As of March 2022, ICCs are operationalized in 76 smart cities in the country and are playing 
a key role in ensuring better monitoring and efficiency in areas like traffic management crowd management detection of crimes disaster management etc during the covid-19 pandemic these icc's were converted into covid-19 war rooms and became the epicenter of coordinated actions among various stakeholders for dealing with the pandemic continuously monitoring the hospital beds oxygen ventilator and icu bed availability